Star Citizen's brand new persistent entity streaming tech is working and it's causing a huge trash problem. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. And then at the end of this video, I also have a bit of a request if you guys are able to with an experiment I wanna run in the patch. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So if you guys don't know, Star System 318 released a couple of weeks ago now, and it's off to a pretty bumpy start. A lot of people have been having issues logging into the servers, getting client errors and what have you, 30Ks and so on and so forth. But some people have been able to get in, and according to CIG, most people are now able to log in. They've ironed out some of the issues. And so some people are now starting to be able to experience the brand new tech that was brought in with this patch, persistent entity streaming. And as a recap, for those of you who are new to Star Citizen and might not know, persistent entity streaming is a technology that CIG have been working on to enable the servers to record the locations of entities spawned by both players and NPCs throughout the server persistently between server shutdowns, basically creating an environment that persists for as long as that patch is not wiped, which can go for months. Or if it's 317, like a whole year. And since probably most of you guys aren't developers, entities are basically things like your guns, your armor, your body, uh, ships that you fly around, anything that you're able to spawn or move around or that's active in the world is an entity. Even things like stations are technically entities. So what we're talking about here is that if your ship explodes and the wreck exists, it's going to persist there forever. Or if you just park your ship somewhere on a planet, you can come back any day you want and find the ship again with whatever you left inside of it. Now on the surface, this kind of technology seems like it probably already exists, but it actually doesn't. Most MMOs, if not all of them, clean up player entities fairly quickly to save on server resources and to prevent spam that can cause the servers to crash. Simply put, the infrastructure of MMOs are simply not built to be able to handle the massive amount of player entities that can be spawned at one time. The vision for Star Citizen, on the other hand, is of a persistent universe where players can leave things and they can persist for basically ever, for as long as the game exists. And it's pretty cool in concept, but there are some potential issues that CIG are going to have to tackle, and that's kind of why I wanted to make the video today. So earlier I was playing on the 318 P2 and I was just trying to test out some of the features and maybe grind a little bit to get some cash before the next wipe because the money is supposed to carry over along with ships but not items apparently or something like that. And I noticed that there was just an immense amount of stuff. Like all of these white signatures you see on my screen, these are all either player or NPC ships that have been left abandoned. Now, while this is certainly cool from the perspective of being able to scavenge for stuff, it does have some serious consequences that I noticed. One thing is that the targeting system in Star Citizen doesn't allow you to filter things very well. So trying to filter through these to target something red is going to be a bit of a challenge when you have to go through all of these white icons. You can bind to target only hostile targets, but... If you don't have that set up already, it's going to be somewhat challenging. Then you have the issue of the debris actually blocking things, like the pads that you want to land on to repair or refuel. That can actually be a logistical issue because you can't move this stuff out of the way. And then frankly, the biggest issue I have with it is just the way it looks. I kind of don't think it looks very nice. It is cool to find wrecks and all, but having player ships and random pieces of wreckage which don't even really look that good because CIG haven't had time to go back and make wreckage look nice, it just ends up looking broken and buggy when this is in fact a feature of Star Citizen and not supposed to be an issue. Now in the future, CIG does have some plans to enable us to clean things up ourselves, like with the munching bit of salvage where we can actually take big chunks of broken up ship and make them into materials that we can recycle or even process the components themselves which promise to be pretty valuable when we can remove them in 319. But it's going to be quite some time until we get that actual munching tech. And in the interim, we're going to be stuck with this for the next three months or however long it takes for them to get to the point where they can actually do something about it and give us the tools to clean it up ourselves. And that was another issue I noticed with PTU. They were only ever able to run a single build for around two days over a weekend before they would just refresh it for the next patch update for the PTU. And that 
left me wondering what's gonna happen when this goes to live and the servers aren't being refreshed for weeks or months on end. Best case scenario, this is only two weeks of trash, but maybe this server was only spooled up much later after the release. It could only be a week or a couple of days of trash, and if that's the case, that's even scarier. And one other thing I have to wonder is how much this is affecting server performance because all of this stuff sitting on the planet's surface surely requires some kind of, you know, physics calculation, which is gonna be hard on the server CPU. One thing that might not be clear from this footage here is that when I was in this area cleaning up some of the stuff that I could pick up myself and loot, the stuff was desyncing all over the place, a problem I didn't have just another outpost away. So this is a tough nut to crack and I'm not envying CIG here and trying to figure this problem out. My worst fear is that they're going to completely neuter the ability for things to persist just across the board. I would hate for that to be the case. It is really cool to find wrecks on the surface of moons and planets. It's just about the look of it in certain areas like landing zones and space stations. I think one thing that they might do is consider allowing us to find ships that we've left somewhere in the universe when we logged off last so we can go back and pick them up without reclaiming them. That way if we left some stuff on it, maybe we can get it back. I think that'd be a pretty cool way to handle the issue, but it probably wouldn't solve all of the problems. Again, I don't envy CIG for having to try to solve this issue. It certainly doesn't seem like an easy issue to solve quickly. And all of this kind of gave me an idea, which is one other reason why I wanted to make this video. I wanted to run a little bit of an experiment and I need your help. I want to see how long we can get stuff to persist before the wipe and even afterwards, so this should run for the entirety of the 318 patch cycle. There's an outpost on Daymar called the Eager Flats Aid Shelter, and what I want you to do when you have time when you log into the game is to just drop something random off on the interior or exterior of this outpost. And what I want to see is how long this stuff persists throughout this entire patch. And I also think it would be a whole lot of fun just to log on and check to see what crap shows up. So get creative, get wild, have some fun and drop some crap off there and let's see how crazy we can get this outpost looking before the patch wipes and before we get to 319. But what do you guys think? What do you feel about PS now that it's been on the servers for around two weeks? Are you having issues with it? Do you feel the same about the trash piling up? Or do you really like that every outpost and space station is chocked full of blown up ships and abandoned ships from NPCs and players? Let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, if you like this video and you think I deserve it, you know what to do. See you in the next one.